if you're not seeking God the way the Spirit of God's moving, you get talked to by elders. And you get questioned on why you are. What's the matter with you? You're not born again? You got devils? What's wrong with you? That's how we get people saved, you see. And so uh, I'm looking back here and there's all these people. They're not, they're not worshiping God. And so I'm, I decided I was really not all there. Probably three quarters gone, actually. Which is a good thing because the rest of it was God, you see. And so I started zero and I started trying to make my way back there to these deadbeats in the back. And I made it. I made it back there to them. And there was this one woman, I mean, she wouldn't look at me. And I could tell she was high a mountain. That, that don't mean much to you. But, buddy, hillbilly where I come from is the real term. They don't trust you as far as they can spit. And they don't even spit to prove to you they don't trust you at all. <laughs> I'm serious. I mean, it's rough. And so, <clears throat> so you know, I'm, I'm sitting there and I'm just looking at this lady. And I mean, her head is on the ground. I mean, she won't look up at me. So I said, okay, it's fine. You want the devil? I mean, I'm talking to her. You want the devil? I'm good with that. But if you want Jesus, you're going to have to act like us. Because we're here, not in the flesh. We're doing this because we love Jesus. No, no response. I mean, there was, must have been, uh, what, uh, 20 of them or so. And they're all high mountain folk from a different tribe. And so that's, that's fine. So I left them alone. I finally I gave up and went. Next thing I know, I'm up yonder and I'm back up on the table again. And I'm enjoying myself. And they're going off on the blood of Jesus. And that always gets me rocked out. And so I look back there. And there are them hillbillies. was done. Got up and started dancing. I told myself, I ah, see, you needed to get them people born again. See, they needed to repent. Let me just tell you what happened. Couldn't have been farther from the truth what was in my mind. Let me just tell you what happened. They were already born again. And the problem is, they had come because they needed healing, all of them. What kind of healing? Well, thanks for asking. <laughs> Two brothers of theirs decided that the gospel wasn't right for the tribe. Now then, all right. Lots of things can happen when that's here. Y'all give each other the look when you're displeased. That ain't what they do there. What they do there is they go get the pistols and the rifles and the shotguns, get them all oiled up, get fresh, fresh rounds in all of them, and they go hunt what the problem is and they fix it. That's how they handle it. So what they did is they waited until the people were worshiping God these brothers did. They waltzed into the service. There was no pastor. They were just there worshiping God, reading the Bible verse and worshiping God. Because we, like I said, we don't have that sorted out yet. We're working on getting all this stuff stable and getting pastors set up and government going and all that. Before you get government going, you got to have the land. You understand? That's how war is. You take it and then you worry about the other things. And so... These guys waltz into that little service, open fire and shoot everybody. Men, women, and kids. Bang, 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 bang. Shot them all. Fortunate for us, because God's there. I wish I could say that all the bullets fell on the ground, which happened some. I could tell you stories like that. It didn't happen that way this time. This time the Christians took the shots, took the rounds, one after the other. Bow, bow, getting hit. Bang, bang. I mean, these women are getting nailed. These kids are getting nailed. These men, it's not good. All right. <clears throat> now, I'm telling you this. I'm on purpose going after you. I am that kind of a person. I won't hold back much, a little bit, because I'm after something, and I'm going to get it. And that's just how it is. All right, and the reason they weren't up dancing, can anybody tell me why? Because <laughs> every one of them was wounded. They had bullet holes in them. It was an amazing feat for them to be off that mountain and down in our, down. we was up on a mountain ourselves, but not like their mountain. 
these mountains go in steps. And we was that we was probably at three, and they lived at seven. So they had come to us. These people had bullet holes in them, open wounds, broken bones, all the things that uh, 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 bullets go in, they tear up the organs and everything else. That, that's what was wrong. That's why they were not worshiping God. You got it? But when I went back there and fussed at them, all of a sudden it seems like me fussing at them was rude, out of place, but it wasn't. You know what it caused them to do? It caused them to stand up. The instant they stood up, all of them were healed. Wow. Wow. I'm talking about man-made bullet holes, closed up and wounds healed, bones healed, organs healed. Did you hear me? Did you hear me? <sighs> All right. <laughs> All right. Why is God letting us have that? It's not because I'm rude or just because I'm aggressive to them or challenging. I challenge everybody I meet. There ain't a person, there ain't a devil, the metro, it don't matter where I'm at. I draw spirits. And there, it's always challenging to, and, and it's fun most of the time. Now then. Why can't you do that? What makes me different than you? Come on. Talk to me. Let's get this going here. All right. Faith. Possible answer. Give me another answer. Experience. Believe the word. Good answers. Obedience. Submission. Yeah. These are good answers. Holy Ghost. Because I know he'll do it. Anointing. I expect him to do it. This is true. All this is right. People are more open to it. Negative. That's not a true answer. I'm not afraid. Perseverance. Time. Timing. All these things, all, everything you're saying is true. Choice. Yes, ma'am. I know I can't. You're right. I tell you, I just will go eat a hot dog. I need to talk about hot dog for a minute, don't I? I mean, them things are excellent. I was disappointed today because yesterday, every 50 feet, there was a hot dog stand with, with, with Polish sausage. And today, I'm telling you, I walked around looking. I couldn't eat. You know, I don't drink Coke. I drink Pepsi. I couldn't even find a Coke. I mean, that's the bottom of the barrel of Coke. <laughs> but it, Cokes are fine, son. It's just my preference. Pepsi. So anyway, come on. Pride, willingness, compassion. Great answers. Time in his presence. These are great answers. Great answers. Gifts. What was that? Already what? Already dead. Already dead. You're right about that. It's true. Fasting and prayer. Fasting and prayer. Right. Not holding, back. Not holding back. Let God do it. Come on. He can do it. That's right. <clears throat> I've surrounded myself with men that are not like me, but they're like-minded with me. And it's something. We're several tribes, 20-something, 28, 29 tribes now, 30. And, and we're different blood, but we same mind. If, if a person like a, I don't want to go into very many details, but we, we every now and then have like this one guy, he took, uh, he, oh, I can't begin to tell you how bad it feels whenever you raise up these babies, these churches, and you tear up the devil's territory, and you take it from him, and you tell him don't ever come back, and then he tries. That really is a bothersome thing. This guy took five of our churches not long ago, and oh man, he's a good, he was one of my sons, and I, I raised him myself. He, he knows better than to be rebellious. I'm going to have to spank him on his hands and everywhere else he needs it. 